practice uh, speaking so kind during the week to, to just cover the repertoire. Uh, we're going to start doing a few songs from the Yard of Age Russian folk songs, and we'll start with the very first one with Mati, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do the beginning of it, the basic material. This is the call and grade together with the bassoon and the horns. Yes. Yes, please. Sure. Well, I mean, that's a very good point that he is doing because uh, yeah, the is that happens quite a lot that sometimes they put the, the costume right inside of the orchestra, and that's not a very good thing for us conductors. And it's not for us, it's basically for you, because we put ourselves there. It's like if you're coaching a string quartet, you sit in the middle of them. I mean, it's always very important for you, for your orchestra, etc., that they have, look, they can see each other. Because, I mean, they're in communication together with you. If we're in the middle, so I really acknowledge that. Thank you very much. Right, let's go to the beginning. You see, this is a religious chant for the spouses. Right, that's the tendency. That's what's written here. And it's very important for the conductor and for the prayers to understand the essence of this music. This is a religious chant. This is from the Orthodox Church. So the tendency is to, as we read music, we just do the tempo, etc. But let's think a little bit like this. Can we do, please? <laughs>
bar form just a little repose there, and then the same in bar A. When we do figure one, can we do now a little bit of sort of figure one with our strings? This is a kind of first variation. the same melody and we're going to have a little more harmony and more contrapon etc. But the tendency would, would be to play that with a lot of vibrato. It's a very nice tune, isn't it? Daddy, can we play that with a very nice soft vibrato and not too loud? Really to <coughs> play that without that big vibrato. Don't play romantic. Play very simple. It's the same melody now with so many more elements. This one is 40, so we are going to have a variation now and quite marcato. The length of the notes is very important, but marcato each one of them. And a nice round 40 for everyone. It's not really, it's really going into the string, right? Yeah. Okay, and as I say, it's very easy to think in the four quarters. Think in the essence of the chant. Each note after each note, not just four quarters. Sure. Right? This is three. that. 
you played us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
to that. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. If that means very carefully, it's very easy to get. Yeah. All right. So one, two, one, two, one, two, ah. I must hope it's not for the people who are praying, for the people who are counting that you have to be very big as well. So this is figure two, I think. Two with the AB. Two with the AB. Thank you, John. Okay, just put it there. Yeah. Who's 
start start? The second one. Right, so refer to the second violin. Come on. See the connection, Carolina, Carolina. Molto crescendo, go! Now, if. Thank you. 
the next one, which is the third one. So we're missing the Yes, we Number six, please. Number six, please. Just come to the block on the side. Right. This is an exercise of the side reading for the whole of the orchestra. Just come to provide every element that the side reading is a very good one. So everyone cooperate. And that's an exercise. She's not going to rehearse it. She's going to just play through and try to get as much as possible with her gesture. Right? Go. Here we go. need a flow to piccolo, a tamburino, and the string. So thank you very much for the third and fourth one. And the piccolo, we're going to do some hiding after that. So if you come back at 3.30 to do the solo of the Bartok dances, we'll do that, right? That's where you can. Thank you very much to our horns. We'll carry on with the round dance. And then after this, we'll be three or four minutes, five minutes. So we'll start doing one movement of hiding first movement. <coughs> Symphony number 104. So, this is Chris, and he's going to do round dance. Please. Number seven. Number seven. seven.
out and you hear all the harmonics, etc. You just a little more, you won't hear other things. So it's one of the great things is the contrast that we have with this pizzicato's mezzo for the piano, open strings, close strings, etc. And of course, the, the piccolo solo with the tambourine. You do it. 